I've created three tracks as you can see here and named each. The top one is highlight text, highlight box, and then finally newspaper. I've actually gone ahead and dragged in my newspaper clip here. You can see it over here in the preview window. So it's on the bottom track. The first thing we're going to do is open up the pan and crop, event pan and crop for the newspaper article. And uh, we'll go ahead and resize this and reposition it. Next we'll configure a couple settings. So your um, lock aspect ratio, you want to make sure that that is actually set to unlock. And then down here where it says move freely, make sure it is on move freely. And then finally down here you're going to want to make sure that sync to cursor is set. This way whatever we're doing with the scrubber down here will parallel uh, what we're doing in the preview window. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out of your workspace here. Let's begin by positioning the scrubber here. So we can drag it or we can simply just click here and uh, let's zoom in so we can better position it. So over here we're at about the three second mark. That seems good enough. And let's go ahead and add a, free, a keyframe. And what we're gonna do is rotate this now. So we can do that either by, uh, if I resize this window, I would get a circle over here allowing me to rotate it this way, whichever direction I want to rotate it. Or each rotation, full rotation is 360 degrees. So I want it to rotate basically twice. So that's 720. So we're just going to set, type in 720 for the angle. And if we go ahead and resize this back down a little bit, you can see that when I move the scrubber in the preview window, if you look in the preview window, that the newspaper is actually spinning. So we'll click back on the keyframe. So our next step is to zoom in up here in the top left corner. So we're going to reposition our uh, scrubber to about a second further in time here. And double click to get it there. And then we've got to uh, use our zoom tool over here, your zoom edit tool. And we're going to zoom into this section here. And we actually want to drag this down, so normal edit. Actually, if we use the mouse wheel, there we go. Now we can kind of move things around a little better. And we'll go ahead and zoom out, grab the hand here, move that into position. And now all we have to do is resize the crop box. So we'll do that. Drag the upper left corner, and I'll grab it, and then just slide it up here. We want it to be right around there, and then we're going to grab the lower right corner and bring that up to where we want it, someplace in here. And you notice down here in the preview window it was adjusting as we were zooming in. So we want to actually have this uh, hold there for a few seconds. So we're going to hold down the control key and click on this last keyframe and drag it, let's say a couple seconds in here and go ahead and, and release it. Actually let's drag it a little further, a couple seconds like I said, there we go. So we want to make sure that we actually are clicked on that last keyframe there so that positions our scrubber. All right, let's move down our timeline just a little bit here and we're going to insert another keyframe about a second uh, into it here. We'll just double click. So at this point what we want to do is we want to slide the cropping way over to the far right. The easiest way to do this is go over here to move freely and change it to X only. And so now I can grab this and I can't move it up or down, but I can move it left and right. And you can see in the preview window as I'm moving it, it's moving as well. And let's try the zoom edit tool, we'll zoom in right here so that I can use the mouse now. And now we can actually move our workspace around a little bit to get better into position. And we want to be about right there. So once again, we're going to take a copy of this keyframe and move it a few seconds forward on the timeline so that uh, we can tell it to pause on this section of the article. So holding down the control key, we're just going to drag this and we'll drop it right here. 
and because we want to, we're going to actually highlight this text up here, the date and time and, and um, name of the newspaper, we want them to be able to read it. So two seconds is a little short, so let's give it a few more seconds, and that's easy enough to do just by dragging uh, the keyframe to a few more seconds down the timeline here. Okay, so before closing this window, you want to make sure that your scrubber is actually sitting on the second to last keyframe right here. You need to position it there, and we can go ahead and close this window. And what that has done is position the scrubber on the timeline properly where we need to ask or add our next media event. So you're going to want to click on media generators to make sure that that tab is uh, got the focus. And then we're going to go down here and click on solid color. And we're going to grab the yellow and just go ahead and drag and drop it here into the second track, the highlight box track. And that opens up our media generator a window. If yours isn't already docked down here, it may have opened up. Um, it may have opened up full screen like this, so you can actually go ahead and redock it down here pretty easily. And it's kind of easy to work with this sometimes. Another thing we're going to do is resize our workspace a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and minimize our some of our tracks that we don't need to be full tracks and then we're just going to drag this up and that gives us a little more room down here. As you can see our dominant, the yellow here is very dominant. It's You can't see through it to see the background article. So we need to soften that a little and it's very easy to do. We'll just go down here and change these values. Now I've already played around with the values so I already know that setting all of these to zero and this last one over here setting it to one zero three is going to give us uh, the incorrect uh, value. Actually, these are supposed to be 255. And there we go. That's the effect that we want. Okay. The media is just a, a little too long here, as you can see. We'll actually go ahead and zoom in here on the timeline.